video. Um, I'm back with another car vlog, which I know some of y'all don't like because y'all don't like that I'm recording and driving at the same time. But honestly, I'm I'm not really like it's the same as if I'm looking at my GPS. Like y'all need to chill because you were all on. I don't see any comments on horse meat saying that you know he's like being like not safe and stuff like like all of his comments are like oh yeah basement like you know like oh, that shit and then on mine i think because i'm a freaking woman like y'all are like oh like be careful like you make me nervous women are bad drivers whatever um so anyway i just wanted to come on here just to talk about um since I aired out all my like my dating business from before which by the way I wanted to say so after a little bit of reflection like nine days is definitely not a relationship nine days is definitely not a relationship I don't know what the fuck that was um and if I'm being honest like four days after um we uh were in a relationship I'm not even alive I had a threesome with um my lesbian friends fuck it um <laughs> um some of my friends were like oh yeah that's base as fuck like you know um and it wasn't it wasn't just like i like randomly um like i randomly like decided to have a, a lesbian threesome with them um we had already been like you know talking about it and I had known them longer than I know the dude who I ended up having a nine-day relationship with anyway. What I, or whatever the fuck that was. I don't think that was a relationship. Because, because I I told him, hey, like, I, th I think I'm getting feelings for you. So I don't think this is going to work out because you don't respond to me barely for three days. Um, and then he was like, oh... Uh, you're catching feelings, so I think that means we need to add things. So I don't think that was a relationship. Did I cheat on him because I had a lesbian relationship? I don't know. You guys should let me know. Not a lesbian relationship. I had a lesbian threesome. Did I cheat on him? Does that count? Because I had a lesbian threesome. Y'all should let me know. Because, um, I don't know. I'm on the fence. And I, I talked to some of my, like, my guy friends, which is, like, another thing. Like, a lot of dudes are telling me that, like, I know I know how to hang with, like, guys. I think it's because I'm a streamer and, like, because I've always been into, like, gaming and stuff like that. I'm just, like, kind of nerdy. Um, which is, like, another thing someone said in, in the other video. They're, like, don't knock the nerds. I'm, like, listen, I'm not knocking the nerds. I'm knocking... I'm knocking, I'm knocking dudes who watch more than three animes, and it can't be that, like, that, like, that new anime that's, like, directed, like, I don't know, because it's, it is, um, it is targeted towards high schoolers, you know, there's some, there's some cool animes, like Avatar, that's an American one, but I like that one, that's a good one, like, I'll watch that one, you know, or, like, Hayao Miyazaki movies are fire, but honestly, like, yeah, now I can see that as a red flag. Like, if you're a dude and you watch a lot of anime, like, yeah, I can see that, you know? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to talk about red flags. So, <laughs> red flags in dating. Um, watches more than three animes as a man. Nah, I'm just, I'm kidding, but I'm not. I'm kidding, but I'm not. Another one. <clears throat> another one is and this happened to me like i'll just tell you guys what happened so two two summers ago now no a summer ago um i went on a date with this guy right he invited me out he was like you know let's go let's go to the farmer's market let's go to uh this like restaurant after what you want to eat I'm like, oh, I want Thai food. So we went to the Thai food restaurant. And even though he invited me out, when the bill came, he was like, oh, can we get two separate checks? He didn't say shit to me before that. And before that, he was like next to me, or like flirting and stuff when we were at the far farmer's market. And then he expects me to whatever put down for my 
part, which, you know, is fine. I don't have a problem with that. But, listen, if you invite me out on the date, I'm going to expect you to pay. You know? And this isn't, this isn't like a woman or man dating thing at all. Because I date women, too. And if you ask me on the date, I'm going to expect you to pay. So that caught me off guard. That was an awful experience, by the way. Um, red flag. Another red flag. So more than three enemies. Expect you to pay when they invite you out. That's weird. Unless you tell me. You know, there's certain circumstances where I feel like that's okay. Um, there's hella traffic right now. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I'm on my way, uh to the mall to freaking uh return some shorts because i went i went a little crazy like shopping like too much for my trip i went to jamaica on friday um which i'm pretty excited for you guys um but yeah um i'm just like chomping on this gum too so yeah um two those are two red flags the third red flag is using pet names too soon i don't yeah, that's that's not it for me. Cause if you're calling me like baby and babe like really soon, I feel like you're love bombing me, right? And I know I know what it's like, you know. I know what it's like, and I'm very cautious about doing that to other people because I don't want to come off like you know too too strong and all that. Um, another red flag. Uh, I feel like another red flag would be like. Uh, like no no ambition for anything and that was one thing that I actually did like in the dude who I had my nine day relationship uh, I liked because he was in school to be like a, a PT physical therapist which is cool because I'm a personal trainer so you know like we're, we kind of studied like si similar things which I really liked I thought that was cool but I don't, I don't, I don't want to say he was a stereotype, but he was low key like the meathead stereotype, you know. Like I said before, he had like big muscles and stuff. He had like, you know, the nice chest, like nice built and stuff. And you know, you know how you can look at some guys and you can be like, oh yeah, he's a fuck boy, you know, like he's attractive, like he had the curly hair, he had nice lips, you know, like. And you think like, oh yeah, he's a fuck boy. And then I told, you know what, that's funny, because uh, he was like, that's another red flag. Now, now I'm looking back and I'm seeing all the red flags. So he was like, oh, what'd you think of me when you saw my Hinge profile? Because we met on Hinge. I told other people we met at the gym, but we met at Hinge, okay? <laughs> we met on Hinge. So he, he was like, oh, what'd you think about my profile? And I liked his profile because he did a bodybuilding comp and I thought that was cool so I was like oh yeah like you look good you know that was cool nice bodybuilding that shows dedication um like you have like some sort of drive right because you you need some sort of like mm, to like do that stuff um <laughs> uh so yeah uh and then he told me he was like because I asked him the same question back he was like oh yeah I thought you were hot and in the moment, like, I think, yo, I think, I think I was, like, on top of him, like, at, at that moment. So, you know, like, things were, like, it was, it was that kind of question. Uh, I was, like, oh, that's nice. But now I'm thinking, like, oh, that was a red flag because you just see my profile. You think I'm hot. That's why you want to try dating me. Like, that's a red flag, too. If the reason that you say you want to date me is because I'm hot or you're very attracted to me. Like, what else is there? you like my personality you don't you know and I, I get people are gonna people are gonna like they're gonna judge me superficially because of you know my my profession on the internet <laughs> they're gonna judge me superficially and it's gonna make d dating difficult for me but um you know usually people they, they find out soon like if I don't tell them they find out so he found out I didn't even tell him and he said he was chill with it you know but uh I've had I've had arguments with people 
but she, by the way people all, also commented on my video last time and they said um like oh like you know you should clear your history search of you blah 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 and i'm just like well no because i'm still kind of like promo so no um and also it's my dog like i like if someone doesn't want to invite me to like the family and friends because of what I do like why are you dating me then like you have to be okay with that shit like I'm sorry but my family knows what the fuck I do they know that I have an OnlyFans and all that shit they know like it's not a secret like okay um but anyways uh yeah someone commented about that but uh so yeah this this recent dude he figured it out he said he was chill with it he was just like oh you know I don't know if I was to start a family with you it might be a problem like all right well we're not at that point like I don't know you like that um and I could get that but you know things just went way too fast with him but anyways uh let me tell let me tell a time about another time this dude I hadn't even met yet and he was looking at my socials right and he was like oh my god you know I need you to stop doing this before we meet up like and then when we're like fucking each other you can start doing your only fans again so pause pause the only fans and then start doing it again when we're fucking only and that to me i was like what the fuck like what the fuck is this like you're, i don't even know you yet you're telling me to literally stop my main source of income like what but anyways um that was crazy that was real crazy that guy he let me talk about him for a little bit so that was like that was like eight months ago that was eight months ago and we it was hinge again we matched on hinge and you know he was like i want to bring you flowers and coffee at your job and me i'm just like i'm like oh stranger danger stranger danger and then one of my coworkers was like girl you better be careful you know he could put something in your drink and i'm just like you know like i really don't think it's like that because i looked him up on facebook i asked him his full name asked him what he does like all the shit you know like i kind of found out who he was type shit so he did he did bring me coffee and flowers to work one day like before before like a few days before we were supposed to go on a date it was cute whatever um but then a few days after that is when he had the argument with me about you know doing of or whatever um and i hadn't even met that guy so that's another red flag for me another red flag for me um, is if a dude isn't okay with how i present myself on the internet because i'm not gonna lie it, it's gonna take like a very like strong like mentally willed man to understand that you know i i do get a lot of male attention and i get that that can be overwhelming and you know uh maybe some people can't handle it um but it's gonna be a red flag for me if someone else like can't accept that part of me because like everybody has you know like personally like i i compare to if i was dating someone who worked at mcdonald's like i, I wouldn't want to date someone who worked at mcdonald's because you know i don't i don't feel like i would want to date a guy who works at mcdonald's because i just feel like maybe he doesn't have like some sort of ambition or something but i think what a lot of people don't understand about like what i do this is also a red flag too is they don't think what i do is actually work um because they assume that like you just you you take like a sexy picture and you post it and you make like hella money off of it that's not how it works like if that's what you think like you're living in a fantasy land because it's just true that most girls who do of they make like 150 dollars a month like for real for real so it's like a side thing for them it's like a like you know whatever um but it's my main source of income i make like i i make more than i made like working a day job which is why i do it full time now. but anyways um yeah another red flag is if they don't see that as real work or if they can't accept it so for me that's four red flags already um i think the first one makes a lot of sense though the most about the anime that bullshit um but yeah um anyway this was super random so those are my red flags and men. Um, green flag though, green flag likes fitness in the gym. That was one thing I did like about that guy. I'm reflecting on that. I did like the, that he likes the gym and fitness because I noticed when I was like dating him, like super briefly, he motivated me to like want to go to the gym more and eat healthy more because he also has those same goals, which I will be looking for in my next. So.
I said I'm gonna upload this and call it a day.